Hi guys, this is Sherry from Spiritual Magic Journey, and today I want to look at the new moon, which is May the 7th, and what's coming for the collective? What is it bringing? Where are we as a collective? So I'm going to pull a couple of cards to see what is going on. I hope everyone out there is having a beautiful, wonderful, and blessed, blessed day. Guys, if you haven't seen your May tarot card readings, they are up over on YouTube. So please go check those out. And May pick a card predictions are also out. Let's see what else. Well, a couple of cards from a different deck. Let's see. I knew that car was coming up. What do we need? What do we need? That's what I'm pulling from the second deck is what does the collective need? What the collective is experiencing now. It's almost like a um, the new moon is bringing like a new beginning for a lot of people. New starts in all areas of your life is coming up. It's also bringing some heartbreak, which is making you walk into a different direction. So a lot of things are endings. we got new beginnings here and endings here with these three cards. So people are walking away from things that are no longer serving them, no longer working out for them, um, not in their highest good. Um, they're just walking away and some of this is going to be painful for people, especially um, when it comes to the relationships and um, maybe um, what I'm seeing is um, in people that have been with jobs for a very long time and they're having to leave or having to move from their home. So a lot of, of uh, pain is accompanied um, with some of this with some of the collectives of uh, having to walk away and walk into a new path, having to learn how to live in a different way because of all the things that are changing and happening here on this planet of uh, the way of, of, of um, things rising up. So people are having to learn how to cope with that. And they're having to, change their way of living, um, decreasing, downsizing. So people are making lots of change. So I'm seeing lots of change here. Um, it's coming up the new moon. Uh, my second question when I used the second deck was what does the um, collective want at this time? The collective wants peace. This is the card to come up, peace. And they're looking for divine guidance. They're almost looking for... Um, the divine goddess um, within their own soul, within the higher self, within God, the cosmos, whatever it is that you speak to or talk to. This is what people are looking for. People are praying. They're praying. They're wanting more peace in their lives. They're tired of conflict and uh, the shit. And, excuse me. didn't mean to say that. <laughs> Gas prices rises and the food prices rises and the rent rises and shorts and this and that. People are tired of it and they're wanting guidance. They're wanting, um, they're seeing what I'm getting. It's almost like they want intervention here. Like they are really um, wanting intervention, praying to whoever it is that you're praying for, asking for divine guidance of how are they going to, um, make it and live and they're wanting peace of mind, peace in the heart, peace in their soul. And this is what the collective is wanting. And I feel like for a period of time, this new moon is bringing this for a lot of people that are going through um, the difficult times of having to change and relocate and adjust to food prices and this and that and everything. Excuse me, I was about to cuss again. Everything that's going on in the world, 
people are wanting that. So you're going to get the peace and you're going to get divine guided. So always trust what I'm picking up is always trust your intuition and what you're getting. Um, it's actually coming from your soul. Um, so trust what you're getting. You get the divine guidance to help you navigate through um, the, you know, the changes and the obstacles and the things that are coming up. So there's going to be a period of that coming in for a lot of people. So pay attention to that. And this comes in a lot in symbology, too. This is the way spirit often speaks is in symbology. So pay attention to that. And a lot of people are going to get a period of peace, a period of peace. So this is what I'm picking up here for um, the new moon. But we'll take a look again when the full moon comes around at the end of the month or near the end of the month, and we'll see what's going on and what it's going to bring and where the collective is. So until next time, guys, blessings and namaste.